Let's see. When, uh, as I was saying, when the string, the string matching mode is in uh, matching the largest uh, possible mode, uh, largest patch possible string, it will match uh, every possible match, meaning uh, all the way through the end of the line, basically, because we have that asterisk there. So let's do that, and we get. Um, this is a tag named uh, named Waffle because it matched. It found the first occurrence of that, and then it matched everything thereafter. Um, so there are other patterns we can use uh, with this. We could use the uh, use. Of course, we use the asterisk. We could use uh, the question mark, which ma matches a single character. We can use also brackets, uh, which would mean uh, every, anything in the uh, bracket would mean we could match like A through uh, Z. Basically, any character which is A through Z. Uh, or we can make A through capital Z, and that would match any alphanumeric character, not counting uh, numerals, uh, and, and so on. So that is basically um, some some basic things we can do with strings. Uh, let's let's go ahead and move on. There's a lot to strings, but it's really we are a paint program. I also wanted to talk about the uh, a little bit more about the VB stack and the uh, the VB property stack. Uh, a couple more things we can do with those. Um, let's dim something as new VB stack object. Let's just push a couple of items onto it. Let's see. Uh, S. And we'll do S dot uh, push hard, hard work, hard work. S dot push mom. S dot push dad etc uh, zeppelin and we'll push some uh, different data types on there let's push some uh, numerals on there one it doesn't have to be in strings do a floating point value uh, 1.2 3 4 5 whatever and uh, etc uh, we're basically using the stack to create an array, and the array will have all these uh, values in it. N n take a note that none of these are, or well, some of these are the same data type, but these are all different uh, data types, or s some of these are different data types, uh, all going into the same array. That's very helpful. Uh, but let's do s.sort. Now let's print this. Uh, or n equals... 0 to uh, s dot count minus 1 uh, debug dot print s dot item and and next I uh, remember we sorted this so this should be sorted let's do that print and there we go we got 1 1.2345 1 aardvark dad dog mom and zeppelin all sorted um, and mind you this sorted different data types so a uh, very good way to organize uh, properties or values in a way without really having to worry about their data type uh, without having to worry about doing uh, initializing values or any of that stuff uh, something we we like to have in there is a support function uh, very useful so um, that's about all I have to say for now I want to get back into the graphical stuff this has been kind of uh, kind of an, uh, an aside but uh, like to show that we have a very powerful API in Halloran. It's uh, easy to learn and pick up, hopefully, and uh, hopefully people, you know, pick it up and start programming with it and just, you know, doing things, learning and being creative because we're about being creative around here, uh, and we want to have a, we want to sharpen our axe. You know, we want to have a more powerful tool um, that's not just you, know, you push a button and it does something for you. We want it to be creative. You can get in and make your own tools and make your own. Uh, workflow in your own pipeline uh, for whatever your your process is for being creative and whatever you do so uh thanks for watching talk to you again soon and uh that's about it